Well, this Sunday marks the 100th anniversary of the sinking of the cruise ship Titanic. And here was some of the memorabilia from Titanic and insights into the value of investing in artifacts like these is Bobby Livingston of r, &R Auction New Hampshire and online. And good to have you back on the program. It's great to be here. There are two different groups, I guess, the way that artifacts are divided. There's one group that is stays together with the RMS Titanic, right? But then your lot or, or group of artifacts is a little different. Explain to me. Sure. About that. There's a, there was an act passed in 1985 by the United States about the salvage rights of the Titanic, where it was to be kept as a memorial. So the things that were salvaged off the ocean floor uh, belong to a certain corporation, uh, and they have to stay together. The auction that we have, we have about 180 items all came from families uh, who acquired these things in 1912 or have written uh, accounts of things in so 1912. So the families so. have given this right. for it, including this, this locket. That's right. That I think is so gorgeous. It's um, gold. Explain to me a little bit about it. Sure. This is uh, a, a solid gold locket that belonged to a valet of uh, Philadelphia, a Philadelphia millionaire, uh, Mr. Widener, this was his valet, and when uh, the ship went down, uh, this gold locket was on the body of a Edward Herbert Keeping, and you can see on the outside his monogram initials here. It's quite beautiful, and it has uh, it's an Art Nouveau piece, mm. solid gold. Inside is a picture, a water damaged picture of his wife. Uh, as you can imagine, um, he kept a picture of his wife and daughter in the locket, and this uh, has been on display in museums since the 1980s in Europe. Uh, and his great-granddaughter uh, called us and uh, consigned it to our auction, so we're really proud to have it. It's a fantastic piece. And they used the monogram to ID his body, didn't that, they? That's right. Uh, when the McKay Bennett, the ship from Halifax, Nova Scotia, uh, recovered his body, they called him body number 45 because they didn't know who he was because his face was so disfigured. But because of the monogram and the initials on this gold locket, they were able to identify him and return these possessions to his family. You have a letter here and the expression, uh, oh, here, I'll tilt a little bit. We're going to glare here. The expression and the band played on. That's right. Comes this, from the Titanic. <laughs> this is an amazing letter uh, written on Titanic stationery. As you can see, it's written on Wednesday, which would have been April 10th, 1912. Uh, it's written by Wallace Hartley, the band leader of the Titanic, the famous band that played music to calm the passengers as the lifeboats were being lowered and as the, and the ship went down. Many eyewitnesses talk about the music still playing as the ship went down. On there, he basically says in this letter, uh, we have a fine band and, and the boys seem very nice. So iconic. Uh, you never see things from Wallace Hartley. And here he is uh, writing his last letter home to his parents. His mm. parents would receive this letter uh, after his death, uh, a chilling, uh, chilling letter. All right, we have a silver certificate here. That's right. Tell me a little bit about this piece. <laughs> this is one of those great pieces. Uh, this is an 1899 uh, $1 silver certificate. And on the back of it, uh, the story of it is told. Uh, the head barber of the Titanic wrote on the back of this bill, he says, this bill was in my pocket when I was fished out of the sea by the SS Carpathia <laughs> after the shipwreck of the SS Titanic. And it's, uh, and it's signed by uh, the, uh, the head barber of the Titanic. He lived in New Jersey. And so uh, he passed away in 1924. So this is a very, very early certified uh, Titanic artifact and one of those amazing pieces that helps tell the story of all the different types of people that uh, served on the Titanic. And including some, more of the workers, you have an account of wages there. Tell me what, who that belonged to. This uh, belonged to a Frank Evans who famously, testi famously testified at the U.S. Uh, Senate hearing right after the, right after the uh, sinking. But, if, it's a little shiny. Yeah, but there you go. He, here, you, up here, you can see he served on the Titanic, and uh, he was discharged when he the was ship fired. Sank. Basically, they fired him once the ship sank, and they he was supposed to get five pounds, and this receipt is for one pound, and then they gave him a bonus of uh, a little over four pounds when he got back home. It took him 26 days to get home, but he he only received one pound for his his uh, service on the Titanic. After all. That. Yeah, the White Star Wait, Line. So he survived. Point. That's right. He, he survived. He famously survived. So this this was uh, his pay wages for his time on the Titanic. Whew. A great doctor. But what an experience. <laughs> right, right. All right, the very last photo you have over here. This is, all right, I don't know if you can reach over, Bob, just to tilt that sure. a little bit because we have a glare problem on that one too. There you go. This is the captain and the crew. That's right. This is actually taken uh, on the USS, uh, I mean the RMS Olympic, the sister ship of the Titanic. We can know that because they're wearing their summer 
some are outfits, but this is most of the crew that would transfer the Titanic and all sink with the ship. The gentleman in the center there with the beard is Captain Smith, and standing right behind him is First Officer Murdoch, both very famous players in the tragedy that is the Titanic. Well, these are just some of the artifacts. The, the preview is going on right now online. Then the online auction will continue until the 26th. It's R&R &R auction. If, if this is something, it's it's fascinating trip just to look at all the items and just understanding the history behind them is really. That's right. And you can, by going to the, the website and looking at these artifacts, you can tell the whole story from the crew to the, to the, to the, the barber, th right, to, to the, the first class passengers. We have things from third class st steerage passengers, the immigrants, and the terrible tragedy that uh, unfounded for them. Bob Livingston, thank you. And that's all for this week. We'll see you next week on 12 in the Money. I'm Rebecca Saran.